Cyclone MMA. <laughs> I'm pulling up the card for UFC 274. There are a lot of dope fights on this card. You guys see it on the screen right now. We're going to start on the bottom, okay? Donald Cerrone versus Joe Lozon. Joe Lozon, I feel like, is coming out of retirement for this fight. I haven't seen him in a bit. Donald Cerrone should be in retirement right now, so this makes it interesting. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I always say, like, Cowboy needs to retire, right? I'm looking forward to this fight. I think this is actually going to be really good. It's just a great style matchup. They're very similar. They're going to stand. They're going to bang. They're going to make it entertaining. They both, like, these guys are kind of uh, fight of the night, like, champions. They, they have a lot of bonuses. Who do I see winning this? I think Cowboy gets it done. I think Cowboy, historically, like, peak Cowboy beats peak Lozon. I don't know how Joe Lozon's doing right now. I know Cowboy's not doing great, but he's been fighting dogs. And when you fight dogs and you're as old as Cowboy, you're going to get knocked out a few times. And we've seen that. I'm hoping that Cowboy's chin holds up and he can get the W. I see it happening. I could be wrong, and I think a lot of you are probably going to disagree with me. But that's my pick. Moving on, we have Shogun Rua versus Ovince St. Pru. This is a rematch. Uh, they fought back in like 2014. I'd Google it, but I don't care enough. Ovin St. Pru won. He got a knockout in the first round, maybe, or the second, or the third, or one of those. Who wins now? They're both coming off of losses. Shogun recently fought Paul Craig, and he, he lost that fight. He got knocked out, TKO. Then you had OSP. He's coming off two knockout losses, one to Jamal Hill, one to Tanner Bozer. It's kind of an old man fight. You got Shogun. He's 40 years old. You got OSP. He's 39. I see Shogun getting the edge. Why? I don't know. I just see it. I think he gets a submission victory. Don't at me. Don't bet on that because you shouldn't bet on any of these, okay? I'm usually wrong. So if you want to make money, just do the opposite of whatever I choose. You've been warned. Moving on, we have the real people's main event. Michael Chandler versus Tony Ferguson. Michael Chandler, what a freaking signing by the UFC. He's been so entertaining from the Dan Hooker fight to his title fight to the freaking Gaethje fight. It's all been awesome. Um, are we going to see the El Kakui of old? Are we going to see Tony kind of bleeding and like smiling and just charging, throwing elbows, doing anything and everything he can to win this fight? Or are we going to see the guy who just gets dominated? I don't know. Michael Chandler's explosive as hell, but I want to see this fight get to the third round. I want to see both guys bloodied up and just going at it. A dog fight. And I think both of them want that too. So who do I see winning this? I'm a big El Kakui guy. I love Tony Ferguson. With that being said, I see Michael Chandler getting the W. I see him getting a knockout win in the first round. This hurts to say. This really hurts to say. I love Tony, dude. Um, I just don't think it's his time right now. Um, I think his time has kind of passed. I hope I'm wrong. I don't mean to be that guy, but he's just gotten completely outclassed in his last couple fights, and he doesn't look like the Tony Ferguson that we all know and love. So I see Chandler winning. I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping we get a competitive fight, a back-and-forth affair, but I got Michael Chandler winning that fight. Moving on, we have Carla Esparza versus Rose Namajunas. This is another rematch. Carla Esparza got the W the first time around. How did she win that fight? I don't know if I've seen it, actually. I might have to go back and rewatch that. I probably should have rewatched that before giving my prediction. But we're going to look into that right now. I'll just tell you who I think is going to win this in the meantime. Thug Rose, I don't think... I don't know who's going to beat her in that division. She's just looking so good. Um... Carlos Spars is coming off of five wins. Interesting. She defeated Rose Namajunas in the third round back in 2014. It's been eight years since then. Carla Sparza, she's a great wrestler. She's a great fighter. Um, man, she has some good Ws. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. I really should have watched that fight in, you know, catch up on both of these fighters before doing this. I know I've seen a lot of these. I'm going Thug Rose, ultimately. I'm interested to see if Carla Esparza can get it done, though. Just because she has some... Like, her last couple wins are very good against Jan and Marina Rodriguez. Those are two 
very, very good fighters, and very, very good strikers. And the fact that she was able to get the W is huge. But I think Thug Rose at this point is just too damn good. I think she's elite. Her and Trevor Whitman just always seem to have the greatest game plans. And I think she's going to get it done. I think Thug Rose is going to do it. And that allows us to move on to Charles Oliveira and Justin Gaethje. Now, I did say that Chandler and Ferguson are the people's main event. I lied. This is the main event. This is a firefight. Charles Oliveira is super entertaining as a champion because he always gets rocked and he like loses the first round and then comes back and just wins. And he's super well-rounded. On the ground, he's a beast. He'll turn you into a pretzel. In his 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 feet, his feet, his hands, his his stand up game. That's what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, um, his stand up game has has gotten so much better. When he started beating Kevin Lee on the feet, that's when I was like, oh, this guy's this guy's good. This guy's good. And then what was it after that? Was it Tony Ferguson after that? Pieced him up on the feet. Pieced him up on the ground. He's just looks so damn good, whether he's standing or on the ground, whatever it is. Then you have Justin Gaethje, who's the killer of men. His pace is relentless. He throws haymakers. He just goes out there trying to blitz people, try to knock people head off, knock people's head off. Um, how do I see this fight going? I will let you know as soon as I take a sip of water. Never eat before recording a show. It's just a bad idea. You're like burping. You like need water. Bad idea. Let's get back to the fights, eh? Okay. Charles Oliveira versus Justin Gaethje. I have Charles Oliveira winning this fight. That hurts. That hurts. I love Justin Gaethje. He's the man. Can he win this fight? Yes. He's got to get it done in the first or second round, I think. I think he's just got to go after him. Land heavy shots. Throw some leg kicks. Make Oliveira think about the legs and then just whale some shots. I think if he's going to win, he's going to win in the first round. We saw Michael Chandler almost win in the first round. We saw Dustin Poirier almost win in the first round against Oliveira. Gaethje's got to get it done because if he doesn't kill him, he's going to be coming after him in round two. In Oliveira, if he takes it to the ground, he's going to be beaten up on Gaethje. Now, I do think Gaethje has very good takedown defense, but I can see this fight going very similar to how Khabib versus Justin win. Not saying that Oliveira is the takedown threat that Khabib is, but I think Gaethje's going to do everything in his power, and he's going to be so focused on not letting Oliveira take him down that he's going to be open for shots, and he's going to tire himself out. In that first round against Khabib, he was gassed, dude. He was, he was really putting in a lot of effort, avoiding those takedowns, and he was just throwing sloppy haymakers. If he does that against Charles Oliveira, Oliveira will be there and he will win the fight. So there it is. I have Charles Oliveira winning this fight via, I don't know how he wins, knockout? It's kind of hard to knock out Gaethje. I'm going to say submission. I'm going to say submission. Could be wrong. It's hard to submit Gaethje. I don't, I don't know if he's been submitted outside of Khabib, but there you have it. I have Charles Oliveira winning this fight. 